year is Roy Hutchison. Even I was pretty near knee high to a grasshopper back then. He joined the New Hampshire Maple Syrup Producers in 1960. Within that organization, Roy served as president and treasurer for eight years and was on the board of directors for over 20 years. So very long tenure. For the past 40 years, Roy has been involved in a number of promotional projects for the association in the state. In the 70s and the early 80s, he was in charge of the New Hampshire Maple Booth at the Big E held in Massachusetts for 8 to 10 years. In the 80s, Roy was instrumental in building a portable sugar house to be used in the annual Farm and Forest Expo. He helped transport and set up the sugar house along with working in the booth. In 1999, Roy and several helpers built another sugar house, Colston Bean, using lumber from his own land. Once nailed, the sugar house was assembled on his front lawn, taken apart, and once again assembled in the mall in Washington, D.C. As part of the annual Smithsonian Folklife Festival, the Sugar House is now a permanent fixture in the Hopkinton State Fair in New Hampshire. When asked why he put in all this work into the Sugar House for the festival, Roy replied, and I quote, we are representing New Hampshire, and if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Isn't that the way it should be done? In 1987, he became the delegate to the North American Council, and in 1990, um, he became editor of the Maple Syrup Digest, a position he still holds. And I can tell you, he's very good at giving reminders to contributors to the Digest, because I am one of those contributors. Uh, in, in 2003, Roy was inducted in the Maple Hall of Fame in Cogan, New York. And although, although he has turned over his sugaring business to his son, he is still very active in the production end of the business. And remember, remember what I said at the beginning, he has been involved since 